Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 211. 211 episodes. Crazy, crazy times. Anyway, happy Saturday. Who's your football team got today? Let me know down below. I am away at Peterborough. 4,000 town fans going to Peterborough away. It's one of the closer away days, to be fair. Um, but it's a little bit different and special for me because I think I'm going to be in the director's box, which is a little bit scary, but uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed today, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Absolutely love to see 2,000 likes on this video. And of course, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it doesn't cost anything. Click the notification bell and you'll never miss an upload. Um, so today we're going to start off with uh, getting the last five of those objectives done so that we can finally see the back of that. I am sick of doing bronze packs and smelting every day. It, uh, it got a bit long in the end. So uh, there you go, 100 completions. Uh, and I never I never went out and bought loads and loads of gold players, which was the cool thing about it. We just did it by... I might have spent 300,000 coins on bronze packs, but like I've said to you uh, throughout the episodes of me doing it, a lot of the time I've been making so much of that money back that I think we're nearly net zero with what the packs have cost us. And even if we're down 100k, like the, the amount of fodder that have come from this... And of course, that 600, 700k Rio Ferdinand, it's just like crazy, crazy worth it. It really was. It was a long old grind, but we got there in the end. Um, and I'm kind of glad I didn't just do it all in like one go in like 100 batch and just spend all my coins getting it done. Uh, because doing seven a day has just added a little bit of content to each of the episodes. Uh, and normally that's meant we pack some sort of good fodder along the way as well. Uh, not going to lie, we'll probably miss that SBC because it's been providing me with a lot of SBC food. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they, they were throwing out a bunch of 83s today. Uh, oh, I imagine that Gabriel Jesus will be a, a team of the season in a few days. Oh, if only, I've, if only I'd have opened this in a few days' time. <laughs> I love it when people say that. Uh, we get an 84 Bastoni there. Not bad. Uh, and then is it time to get onto the good ones? Yeah, five times 84. As long as it's not 584s, I think we'll be all right. Don't even do this to me. At least be a hero in there. Nope. Five 84 rated players. A hundred times I did that SBC. And it gave me the worst possible outcome. But then the overall reward, we do get ourselves a uh, Team of the Week walkout. I mean, it's only an 85 in, uh, in Nacho Fernandez. Uh, so certainly not the best thing ever. And we do get, you know, like... Only three 84s. We get a walkout or a couple of walkouts and 85. It's not the worst one in the world, but it certainly wasn't the best. 100 completions for that stuff. Oh, I'll take Rio as the overall win from uh, from doing those. Uh, absolutely, I will. So this is the team that I've currently built. Some of you might look at me and be like, Tom, the amount of like ridiculous players you've got in your club, why are you suddenly now using Munier and, uh, and Guerrero? And, like, you got Jack Grealish in there. What, what's that all about? Um, from my many, many, many games of squad battles, I, for some reason, I, obviously for, like, the Lampard objective, uh, I found myself using Grealish quite a lot. And I actually like him. Um, he's got a little... The RB dribbling, which is something I've been doing a lot of recently uh, and trying to get used to and, and stuff like that, he is really, really good at it, um, To the almost to the levels of, like... Uh, Jezinho and especially that Diaby. That Diaby is like the best one at that. Um, and as I'm filming this video, it is just about kickoff time for those games. So that tells you that I filmed this a day or so ago. Um, but obviously I've got an away match, so I had to do this sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether or not Leverkusen are going to win and Nice are going to win uh, in their second legs of the various Euro European uh cups that they're in or whatever uh, tournaments that they're in so i don't know if Atal's going to end up going up or getting out i don't know if the arby's going to end up going out or getting upgraded whatever it is i mean they're good enough as they are to be fair so uh i'll it's a it's a dub no matter what that we've got both of those players in our club for sure uh but to get them even better would be nutty anyway uh, I quit game number like two <laughs> of uh, of my playoffs because the guy was just better than me. But he had he had Grealish as well. Actually, I think that 
helps prove a point that Grealish is OP. Um, no, I found myself bringing him off a lot of the times in these games as Van Basten scores a volley. Obviously quite well known for scoring a, a volley from a, a very, very tight angle, obviously, in real life. We're way, 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 way back in the day. Um, but that made a rage that literally made a rage quit happen. And I was like, wow. That guy was playing golden goal. I appreciate it. Thank you, mate. I'm glad I scored first. Uh, but into the next one we go. This guy's got 95 Barese, by the way, and a 94 Owen. And he's done Marquisio. Got SBC FC here. Who else did he bring on? He brought on Nkunku. This guy loves a long, expensive SBC. Uh, but I found myself 1 0 up. We then play it through to Van Basten. Green time, chip shot, runaway celebrating. Lovely stuff. 2-0 up. I moved my goalkeeper about three inches to, to cover the near post. And he finds the far post with a power shot there from uh, from Lothar Mateus. I probably should have known that was coming. Um, I tried to get Desai in the way. If anything, that might have made it go in because it sort of threw the keeper off a bit. Uh, and then he equalizes with Garincha. So two all at half time uh, when I was 2-0 up. I, I hate that. I hate losing a two-goal lead. So... Uh, Time to regain that lead, and Jezinho is the, the man to help me do that. Um, I still haven't been absolutely loving him, I'll be honest with you. Like, it's just not a 5 million coin card, absolutely not. Uh, and then Mbappe into Bale. Bale feels more like a 5 million coin card to me. This guy's ridiculous, and he's still so usable even at this stage in, a, in FIFA. I wonder if I'll still be having him on the bench during team of the season, or whether or not those sorts of players will finally stop being used. Hmm. I guess we'll find out in in a week's time or whatever. Um, next guy's got 92 Papa. Also, that, wait, that was base Kaka. There were a couple of times where he sprinted down the wing against me that I, I could not keep up with him. Interesting. My defenders aren't quick enough. Uh, anyway, RTG goes 1-0 up. We then knock it through to Grealish, who unselfishly plays it into Jarzinho. It was actually a terrible ball, and I messed it all up. Uh, but that one was much better from Zidane into Grealish, and we score the goal. Uh, we then get through with the Brazilian, chip that one. Tried to time it, didn't time it. Uh, but luckily, it went in, and 3-0, of course. McGinn, McGinn's men... I'm gonna say, see you later. I can't, I can't hang with you. You are a really good FIFA player, mate. That's what he would have said to me, right? He definitely wouldn't have cussed me out or anything for for chipping him to go three nil up. Um, I'm sure he was really happy. Anyway, into the next one we go. This guy's got Urzil and uh, Ribery and a couple of cards that you don't necessarily see that often. But good work from Jarzinho and a really good run from Van Basten. Actually managed to get it out of his feet and finish it as well. I was happy with that. And then into the box with Mbappe. Uh, I think I might have got a penalty there, but whatever that slide tackle did, it helped move the ball into the back of the net. So I'll take that. 2-0 at half time. Literally let him ha hardly have a sniff at goal. Uh, and then like 20 minutes into the second half, he ends up running through. Plays the smart pass with Ozil. Ozil can see everything, all right? Uh, of course he can. So uh, he, he spotted Ribery and uh, that's gone in. However... I got Peter Crouch, mate. I was busy holding A at this point, which is the default celebration. I hoped he would do the robot. And then I scored a worldie of a goal with Zizou uh, to force the rage quit at 4-1. I'm not surprised either. I'd have gone at that point. If I, if that was the goal to put me 4-1 down, uh, I would realize that, yep, I've just got absolutely zidaned. Um, so there's 21 points. So that's 5 and 1. Uh, so obviously guaranteed weekend league i just need one more win uh and we will get our slightly better packs obviously we're qualified for champs and i will start that for you in tomorrow's episode i know it'll be sunday but next guy had one game left on his 97 zidane uh and he was all right as well like he had a really weirdly bad team uh for this stage of the game like an 84 muriel and that jecko at this stage but i quit on him at one nil like i didn't just quit straight after he scored either i played on for a bit and he was just good so I thought, you know what, you can have a win, especially with that team. Uh, you're a decent player and you can have the victory, especially with your Zidane as well. Uh, so we carry on. I literally needed one more win. I figured we'd get it somewhere else. This guy had a stacked team, loads of cool icons and stuff. Uh, and it's funny how those games are sometimes easier. As you can see, we're 2-0 up. Um, Van Basten knocks it into Grealish. 
That's the RB dribbling that I'm talking about. Just cuts, like turns on a sixpence and cuts back in and the defenders can't get there. 3-0 up at half time. Literally haven't let him have a shot on goal. Uh, and I've had like 10. So it was a pretty good first half. My alarm's just gone off on my phone because I've got to go out for a haircut after this. Apologies for that if you heard that. But at 4-0, Connor Chaplin came on, by the way. He scored a header. All like five foot six of him. Managed to score a header. Uh, my opponent rage quits. And that's all I can ever ask for from an Ipswich fan is just to make my opponents quit after scoring a goal with an informed Ipswich player. Oh, tears of joy I could cry. Anyway, six wins. We're done, of course, with uh, with with our, our um, qualifiers. We're into the weekend league. And uh, I had a duplicate that I needed to get rid of before I could open up my rewards. It was that inform uh, 86 goalie that we got. Was it him or was it Thomas Party? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, either way, we uh, we get to some of the packs that we've been storing up, which is the rewards from Qualies and then the 84 by 7 that we've got as well that we've just done the SBC for. Uh, can we get anything in the mega packs today? Normally, they've been pretty poor lately and uh, carries on with that because we literally don't get boards again. Um, gone are the times where all of those packs would say a minimum 82 or minimum 83. They just don't anymore, do they? The tradable ones, at least. Uh, but Mega Pack number two. Can we get anything out of this one? We can see lights up, and we can see French and Pape. Oh, no. It's just an 83. Thomas Lemar. All right. No worries. Again, the pack luck lately has been supreme, so I'm not going to moan. And then a 7 times 84 we get an inform walkout. Uh oh, this is not good because I don't even think this this is really not a good week for team of the week apart from Ipswich Town's corner chaplain being in there, of course. I don't even need to say that. You guys know that by now. But uh, yeah, not a great 84 by 7. We get a couple of walkouts and another Nacho. Uh, but what I've decided to do with them, and that's what's going to finish up the episode, is. Uh, the Ashley Cole SBC came out, and I think that he could be a very good left back. Um, and I don't think it was priced too badly, and I had the fodder in my club. So we're going to go ahead and actually get him done before the before the end of the episode, which is uh, great stuff. Um, so I completed the 85 rated team. Like, when, when that SBC has got the highest rated squad is an 87 rated team. And the other one's like an 85 before that. So, like, it's really not that badly priced at all. Uh, and if you've been doing these daily SBCs, I just reckon you've got the fodder. Um, and I just think he looks pretty good. Uh, you never know, like, during team of the season, there might be some cards that are English that get tots that uh, are not necessarily the easiest to link. So, I, that's why I'm kind of stockpiling half-decent icons. Um, because if there's a chance of me linking somebody uh, that gets a tots, even to get them up to like one or two chem, uh, I might do that. You know, for example, I know I've mentioned it a lot, but this Connor Chaplin in form, right, he's potentially on for like an EFL tots card um, after, you know, scoring all the goals that he's got. If, that, if he ends up getting like a 90 rated tots card, uh, I would want to use that, you know, definitely. So, you know having a couple of English players in like Rio and uh, and and maybe Lampard and, and, and Ashley Cole could be kind of helpful in the long run. So we get him done. Literally didn't need to go out and buy anyone. That was really good. Uh, and team of the year icon number two joins my account. We, of course, have Chabby Alonso uh, from the SBC during the promo. But uh, Totty icon Ashley Cole, 90 pace, 85 dribbling and passing, 91 defending and 81 physical. So I'm just going to whack a shadow on him, make him as quick as possible, boost that defending so it's like nearly perfect. Uh, and he should be good enough at dribbling, good enough at running, four-star skill moves. Um, and I just think he's going to be pretty decent. We've got lots of options at fullback um, in my club, but I, get, I just wanted another one. Like I said, I'm just literally stockpiling players all over the place. And uh, I can barely ever resist spending my fodder. So that is exactly what we've done. Um, to end the episode, we're going to let this SEN go. Uh, he literally is about the same price. He's like 4 or 5k more than when I bought him. Uh, I'm going to let him go because as good as he was, I don't think I ever really noticed him. And I just remember when I was playing with like Turam in my squad as the CDM, I always really noticed him doing a good job. So uh, whether or not he makes his way back in, probably over that Lampard right there to get Atal on full chem, uh, is a possibility. 
Um, and that would be my normal midfield that I've been used to for a few weeks, but obviously with a very different defence and a very different attack. Um, yeah, we can imagine that the weekend league squad is going to look something like this. Uh, I think we bring back in Ramos, rest Rio, bring Desai in as the newest defender. See what we can make happen. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed, do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button. There's been loads going on here today, so I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Cheers. Follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great day. I'll be back again tomorrow. Should be uh, into the weekend league by then and uh, hopefully cracking on, getting some good dubs. And I'll see you then. Peace.